Так, ну мы традиционно пожелаем удачи всему совместному расчету. Да, и заболтаем. Guidance to internal. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Command engine start. Two, one. Baby, go a beautiful lift off of our new Shepard rocket here from West Texas. Listen to that BE3 engine roar. You can follow along as she gains speed up to space in your top right corner of your screen. Bottom left, follow along with the altimeter. You may have seen we started about 3,600, 3,700 feet. That's our altitude down here at our West Texas launch site. Just about at max Q, that's where the aerodynamic stresses are at their maximum on the rocket. Looks like a nice clean burn on that BE-3 engine. The next milestone on her flight to space will be main engine cutoff. Ninety thousand feet and climbing. Thank you again for joining us for this live test of our new Shepard rocket. We are within seconds of this exciting escape test. We'll be firing the escape motor in the crew capsule about 20 seconds after separation of the capsule from the booster. Main engine cut off. The rocket is still ascending towards space. Separation confirmed. One, zero, ignition, lift off. Vehicle pushing 
And we've had successful liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket as we see all nine of those first stage Merlin engines glowing beautifully, carrying Telstar 19 Vantage to geostationary transfer orbit. Now upon ascent, we go through max Q as our first milestone. And again, that's the maximum aerodynamic pressure. It's an important milestone because it means that from that moment on, we're going through thinner and thinner atmosphere and less and less stress. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. And we've got that confirmation on the nets that we have gone through max Q. So again, less and less stress in the vehicle as we go up and up from here on out. Now, we're going to come through three events in pretty quick succession, and those are Miko, then stage separation, and then second engine start, or SES number one. Now, those represent the cutoff of those nine first stage engines that you see burning right now. Those will stop burning. Then the stages will separate once neither stage is burning. And then the second stage, once separated, will start its burn. And that's called SES, or second engine start number one. Those three events will happen pretty quickly in a 10 second span, starting about 30 seconds from now. Again, Miko, separation, SES. Stage separation confirmed. And you heard the callouts and saw the visual confirmation of main engine cutoff, stage separation from those onboard cameras, and then second engine start. And as a treat, we were able to see that green flash from the T tab that I mentioned earlier as second stage ignited. Attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain, allumage des deux EAP et décollage VA244. Propulsion nominale. Vous voulez paramètre à bord son normaux C'est une puissance. Très franchement, euh, vous pas à bord son un normal. grand, grand, grand moment. Vous entendez euh, le DDO nous annoncer que tout est normal à bord. Le vol est donc bien engagé. C'est absolument impressionnant. Quelques secondes après la lumière et les paramètres propulsifs sont le, à le décollage, on ressent effectivement la vibration et on entend ce son qui 
qui secoue euh, l'atmosphère ici euh, à Toucan. Donc voilà, euh, l'Ariane 5 avec quatre satellites pour Galileo est actuellement en chemin. On la suit parfaitement, le ciel est à totalement de 51 km tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. Tout est normal et on va se séparer des premiers éléments. 2 minutes 23 de travail pour les accélérateurs à poudre. Ces étages d'accélération vont être séparés. Voilà qui est fait. Avionics power and telemetry nominal. T plus 48 seconds after liftoff, Falcon 9 leaving Earth under 1.7 million pounds of thrust. We're throttling the nine Merlin engines right now as we get ready for the period of a maximum dynamic pressure as the vehicle goes supersonic. Vehicle is supersonic. We've heard a call out vehicle is supersonic. The Merlin engines have throttled back up. We're through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We've heard call out propulsion is nominal. Avionics is reporting nominal status also. Vehicle has passed through maximum aerodynamic pressure. Next activity we should hear call out is the start of MVAC chill. That's again preparing the turbo pump MVAC on the second chill. stage. And we've heard the call that the chill looks good. Hawthorne acquisition of signal. Hawthorne acquisition of signal, that means our antenna here at Hawthorne has also acquired the first stage and the second stage. Now next major activity coming up in just about half a minute, shutdown of the nine Merlin engines followed by stage separation, ignition of the second stage engine, and then immediately after that we will flip the first stage and do a boost back burn as part of the landing sequence. Getting a good view from onboard camera. The ground cameras aren't able to follow the rocket due to the fog today. Biko. Stage one is entered its flip. In fact, ignition. Stage one's in the boost back burn. We've heard the call out. Stage one is in the boost back burn. The second stage successfully separated and lit. Getting some great views from space. 